Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy Mike Stevens recently stopped at Naval Air Station Jacksonville to talk to sailors about the CPO-365 program. Petty Officer Ian Anderson tells us more about McPond's visit. Chief and First Class Petty Officers from Naval Air Station Jacksonville received some extra attention when the Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Michael Stevens, stopped in to promote the updated CPO-365 program. CPO 365 is so important to the future development of our first class petty officers and also for our chief petty officers. Uh, we want to continue with the enthusiasm and with the training and the creativity that we're already seeing. And I'm very, very proud uh, of the folks that I've met with today and what they're doing here in Jacksonville. McPond Stevens shared his views of the CPO 365 program with the chiefs and first class petty officers in attendance. It was really great to have the MCPON here with us today at NAS Jacksonville. It just really shows how the chief petty officers are moving forward to pushing us as first classes to being where they are. CPO 365 as a program is only a few years old, but looks to have a bright future. It's going to depend on what they want to do with it, but what I envision is that it will continue to evolve and it'll continue to get better, just like we've seen throughout the many, many years that we've been training first class petty officers and chief petty officers. For Navy Public Affairs Support Element Southeast, I'm Petty Officer Ian Anderson. Nick Pond Stevens announced in January that the two phase CPO 365 program will replace the six week chief induction. The program is now mandatory for all first class petty officers, whether or not they're board eligible. For more about CPO 365, visit Navy.mil. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Ashley Hedrick.